Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Pen Habit. My name's Matt Armstrong, and I'm glad to have you back for another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a, another Italian pen from the manufacturer Montegrappa. This is the second Montegrappa that I've had the opportunity to get my hands on. It's a really interesting pen, and one I... I think I like a lot. So <laughs> we'll we'll get to that in just a minute. But uh, here's the package it comes in. Just a relatively plain cardboard sleeve. Uh, then we have the the nice box. I will say Montegrappa does some really interesting packaging, stuff I've not seen before. So lovely uh, blue box with a, it says Montegrappa Italia. Let me just zoom out just a little bit here. You can see the whole box. Uh, lid comes off and the front flap folds down so you can pull out the pen coffin. Then there is this little Montegrappa Italia booklet on the inside. Uh, use and that fun stuff. Put the lid back on and then you have the pen coffin itself. Now this opens up. I like this design. This is a really interesting... I had we had bathroom tile growing up that looks like this. And I don't know what kind of design tile design this is, but I like it a lot. And then you open it up like this and it folds out and you've got a couple of ink cartridges and the pen itself. So this is the Montegrappa Fortuna. Now, the Fortuna comes in a whole variety of different colors. Um, this is the Fortuna White and Ruthenium. So uh, let me get this all this stuff out of the way. But it is a white acrylic fountain pen. Uh, with ruthenium plated, this black uh, metal plated uh, hardware. So on the top, there is the medallion that says 1912 and has kind of the, the laurel leaves around it, little crown. Uh, real nice clip, very stiff with a little roller ball on the end. A little too stiff, actually. Um, then the cap band says Montegrappa. And that's it. So it's, uh, then the, the rest of the pen tapers down to a flat bottom here. Now this pen is, is very modern looking, um, a little stark. I mean, this is a really white pen. This is very, very stark white. Um, I like this look quite a bit, but I could see how it's certainly not for everyone. Um, but just to get that real binary black and white look, uh, it's a really nice looking pen open up the cap. The threads are metal, um, and I'll get back to that in just a second. Um, the section is made of that same white plastic and has a very slight taper to it with no f uh, flare at the end. One downside to having a white pen is it's really hard to get this section completely clean when you uh, fill the pen from the nib, when you dip it in the ink vial. It, uh, it's hard to probably hard to see on this video, but there's little hints of the orange and red left on the pen that just doesn't come all the way clean. As I mentioned, the threads are these really heavy block threads uh, made of metal. I don't, I don't know why Montegrappa puts metal threads on their pens. I really don't care for it. Uh, I had the same problem with the uh, Montegrappa Espressione that I reviewed um, before. Now, the, my grip on the Espressione was such that they were right on these threads, and these are not comfortable threads to have under your fingers. Fortunately, on the Fortuna, I'm not gripping them on the threads. I can actually grip it on the section and have no issue there. It is a cartridge converter pen. and uh, comes with a standard international cartridge, branded Montegrappa, and as you saw, a couple of short, um, or excuse me, comes with a converter, uh, comes with a couple of short cartridges as well, but it will take any standard international. And this is one of the threaded converters. So if you uh, if you like those threaded converters, the security of those, that uh, that's a good thing as well. But metal uh, tenon on the section as well, so this is not a an eyedropper compatible pen. Then you've got a black nib that has that same kind of I call it the bathroom tile motif on the nib and says Montegrappa right across the, the middle of the nib there. Really attractive nib, that dark black, and then just your kind of standard looking plastic feed. So all in all, this is a pretty, it's a pretty pen. It's very simple, um, but it, it's, I think it's attractive in its simplicity. So if you're looking for something that's kind of, this reminds me of like the early iPods. 
um, you know, the ones that were all the white iPods. This this kind of has that the uh, Jonathan Ivy early Apple, not early Apple, but uh, you know, early re- Apple revival design aesthetic around it. So it's a, it's a nice pen. It's nice and comfortable in the hand. Let me go through the stats for you. So capped, you are looking at 136 millimeters and you've got 125 millimeters uncapped. So it is uh, certainly usable when it's uh, uncapped. It's not too short for me anyway. And then posted, it is 159. Now it's just friction fit, but it, so it's not the most secure posting in the world, but it's not bad. Um, it's pretty well balanced when it is posted and, uh, in general, I've used this both posted and unposted, and I don't see a huge difference other than the weight. And this is a little bit heavier than normal pen, which I'll get to in a second. In terms of diameters, you're looking at 11.1 millimeters in the middle of the section. We've got 13.5 millimeters at the widest point of the barrel. And at the widest point of the cap, you are looking at 16.7 millimeters. Now, as I mentioned, there's a lot of metal in this pen. So it's 26 grams uncapped and 38 grams capped or posted. So that's an extra 12 grams for just the cap. So posted, this starts to get a little on the heavy side. Unposted, it's still nice and moderate, but uh, heavier than it would look for a uh, what looks like on the surface anyway, a mostly plastic pen. There's, there's enough metal in here to give it some extra heft. So um, the... The Espressione, the Monte Grappa Espressione that I reviewed a while back, the nib wasn't in great shape when I got it. It was pretty sharp. It was finer than I was expecting for the designation that I got. Um, and it was a little on the dry side. So I wasn't quite sure what to expect with this pen. But uh, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the nib. So why don't I go ahead and do the writing sample, show you how it writes, and we can go from there. All right. This is a Monte Grappa. Fortuna, white, and ruthenium, I-U-M, ran out of paper there. The nib is a steel nib, which is a little on the unfortunate side for a pen of this price, but um, it's a good steel nib, so I won't hold that against it too much. And this is a medium designation. And like the uh, Monte Grappa Espressione that I reviewed earlier, it does tend to be a little on the narrow side for what I consider a Western, excuse me, or European medium. Uh, and the ink for today is Diamine Ancient Copper. Okay. So, here is our quote. That's supposed to be an H, not a K. <laughs> to someone who has the vision to recognize it as suck. That's, that is not what I intended. Okay, um, so hopefully, as you can see, really pretty good writer. It's got a little bit of feedback, but it's it's a nice feedback. It's not... It's, it's very smooth, and the feedback tends to be a little bit... I think this corner of the nib right here, this, this corner, is a little bit sharper than I would like. So, um, were this one of the pens that I was going to be keeping, and this is another one of the giveaway at the end of the season pens, uh, I would probably knock down the edge on this corner just slightly. But other than that, this is actually quite a nice writer. I like it a lot. Uh, in terms of wetness, just do a little bit of a scribble here. 
Um, it's a decently wet pen. It's actually a pretty wet pen, um, which I like quite a bit. For line variation, there is a little, not a lot, um, and you have to push pretty hard to get it. That's clearly not what it was intended to, to do. Um, you know, you can get a little bit of line variation out of there. It looks like I actually just bent the nib just a touch. And it's bent back, so no harm, no foul. Still a very good writer. <laughs> so, yeah, you can you can get a little bit of line variation, but be careful. Um, I could have sprung the nib there. Fortunately, I didn't. So, um, in terms of reverse writing, wow. Very, very good reverse writer. Super smooth. I think I think they must have polished the backside of this nib. It's it's a very good reverse writer. So you'll get a, a very fine line, extra fine line right there. But it's a nice it's a nice writer. This is really I, I'm surprised at how much I like this pen. The design isn't necessarily the most exciting. It's very clean, very modern. Um, but man, is it just a nice writer? I haven't had. I haven't had any issues with it. So this is the sort of thing I I really like to see. Now, I really liked the Montegrap Espressione that I tried earlier. I liked the design a lot. It was kind of flashy and right up my alley, but it wasn't the best writer in the world. And I ended up returning it to the store where I bought it um, because it didn't fit my hand uh, very well. This fits my hand nicely. It's got a nice medium heft when it's not posted. Uh, the the nib is smooth with just a hint of feedback. It's a good reverse writer, probably the best reverse writer I've ever used. Um, I'm I'm pretty impressed with this pen. Now it's probably going to be a little on the pricier side of what most people would consider spending for a steel nibbed pen, but a nib material isn't the end of the world for me. Uh, I don't necessarily care that it's not a 14 karat gold nib if it's a really, really good steel nib. And this one is a really good steel nib. So in any case, that is my review of the Montegrappa Fortuna White and Ruthenium. This is yet another one of the pens that I will be raffling away at the end of the season. So if you are a Pen Habit supporter, you will be entered to receive this one. And this is one I might go and get another one for myself because I, I like this one quite a bit. It's a nice writer. So thank you so very much for watching. And we will see you here next time on the Pen Habit. Bye.